Hi everyone and uh, welcome to uh, my home which is uh, in Sweden, in Stockholm. Um, I live uh, on the edge of a beautiful Swedish lake called the Mälaren, um, which basically wraps its round, way around the whole of Stockholm and I think it's probably Sweden's third largest lake. Um, you know, I really appreciate all you guys tuning in. I know these are sort of strange and difficult times uh, and I hope that everyone's staying safe and looking after the ones they love. Um, this is obviously a first for me, it's a first for our brand to effectively be launching a product range uh, on social media here on Instagram. Um, usually we have a party or an event or we'll launch products at a trade show, um, but it sort of feels fitting and I know that a lot of people are using social media now to stay connected and it's really nice that we can invite our whole community to this launch rather than just a select few. So, so it's really nice to sort of take a bit of time out and talk to you guys about our new spotlight range, which is called Exhaust. Um, and it launched today on our website, launched this morning. Um, and literally the box has turned up this morning in my front door. Um, I haven't had time to string anything up in the house, but I'm gonna open some boxes, take you through the range. Um, and yeah, that's it. I mean, uh, you know, at, at Buster and Punch, you know, I've always wanted to, as the founder and creative director, I've always wanted to sort of turn our backs on designing product for design's sake. You know, it's always been really important for me that we basically seek out um, uh, home details and home fittings that uh, have been forgotten or neglected and try and sort of reinvent what they look like or how we feel about them, you know. And in the past, we've looked at things like the light switch, um, the door handle, the light bulb. Um, and for a long time now, I've wanted to look at functional lighting, so task lighting, so things like spotlights, down lights, track lights, um, which are products that I used to use a lot when I was an architect, um, and products that, although are sort of very background and considered quite boring, uh, they're also sort of vital to a uh, lighting scheme or, or how your, your home's lit, basically. So they're very important. Um, I think sort of traditionally um, functional task lighting has been very technical, very uninspiring, you know, to sort of our trade customers or architects and designers, it is something that's usually like a black or a white metal product that has sort of pages and pages of technical information about it and I think to uh, sort of the general public it's normally a, a black and white fitting that your electrician might buy from B&Q or Home Depot uh, and again it's sort of quite, quite boring. Um, so we wanted to sort of design a range that, that sort of performed really well, so worked really well as a functional light, but would also be sort of a very beautiful thing to look at in its own right and have much more of a decorative feel to it. Um, so the range is called Exhaust. Um, it's basically inspired by motorbike exhausts, um, you know, which sort of is a nod to where I started or where the brand started, which was basically making motorbikes, custom motorbikes. Uh, and when you make custom motorbikes, um, generally you have a small ring or baffle that you put onto the end of an exhaust and they do a number of things. They either make the exhaust quieter, they make the exhaust louder, or sometimes they're used as just things that look great. So we sort of really like this idea of, you know, uh, you know, when you hear a sort of really loud motorbike exhaust, you know, it's quite an unforgettable thing and we wanted to make a very forgettable product type, which is a functional light, um, something you don't forget that's something a bit more decorative. Um, so basically the range uh, has four product types. It's got an adjustable spotlight in it, it's got a fixed down light, it's got a track light, and it's got a pendant light. Um, and I'm just gonna open some stuff, show you guys what it is, uh, what sort of finishes they are, and, and maybe where, where they're used and things. So this is, uh, this is our spotlight, our adjustable spotlight. Um, so the product comes in two boxes basically. Box one has uh, the main body of the product, so where all the, the bulb fitting is uh, and the can. Um, so I'm going to just take this out here. Oh, beautiful box designed by our amazing design team. Um, so this is our uh, adjustable spotlight. Um, so basically the bodies come in um, two finishes. Uh, one is graphite and the other is stone. So basically graphite is uh, almost like a very dark uh, 
uh, gun metally graphite powder coat, which has some sort of metal fleck in it, so it catches the light nicely. And stone is almost like a light grey powder coat. Um, we sort of prefer these finishes to the usual black and white because uh, they go with a lot more things. So generally, if you use black and white product, they're very stark, and you either have to have to be putting it on a, a white ceiling or a, a black bit of furniture. So we really like the idea of these two finishes, which we use also in our hooked lighting range, um, but they sort of feel a bit more luxurious than black and white. They're a bit more unique, and also, as I said sort of earlier, you know, we're trying to make this something elevated from the usual black and white products that you might buy um, in this sort of uh, sphere. So anyway, so the body comes in one box, and then uh, you'll get a second box with your product, which is called the detail kit, uh, and basically, this is a much smaller box, but it's where all the magic happens. Um, and inside the detail kit is um, our baffle. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's um, essentially uh, a ring that's been, you know, a solid bar which has been machined and CNC'd. Uh, this one's made from solid brass. Uh, and it's got our um, sort of new for 2020 linear knurl, uh, knurling in it, um, which is a sort of, uh, Think a little bit more elegant feel rather than industrial uh, and then also inside the box I'm not sure you can see that but you get two taut screws um, which basically um, are a detail on the light to fit the body to the uh, the back of the light um, and basically these are uh, I fitted the taut screws earlier but basically the baffle um, inside your instruction box in your box number one you get a, a honeycomb filter which ensures that the product uh, is non-glare or reduced glare. Um, as you know, most people know, spotlights can be very glary and can blind you, so we've sort of been really sort of uh, careful to make this product as subtle and non-glare as possible. And then the baffle essentially screws into uh, the spotlight, so much like we would a baffle on a, on a, on a motorbike. And what this baffle does is that it um, essentially sort of captures light so you'll get a directional spotlight from the product, so you'll light your tables or your kitchen units or your artwork. Uh, then this will also catch um, some ambient light and sort of give a really lovely metallic glow. Um, sorry the, the stuff's not on at the moment, but maybe next time you tune in uh, we'll have some stuff up. Um, so basically that's it. So the detail kit is all the solid metal parts and the body comes in another, uh, another box. And the detail kit comes in four finishes. One is uh, solid brass. Uh, one is gun metal, which is a new finish for this year, which is sort of a really beautiful, um, it's stainless steel and then it's got a gun metal PVD to it. Um, but it's sort of like a, a, a slightly satiny off black, really dark gray. Um, and then we also have our classic finish uh, stainless steel, um, which is here, which we've got on most of our products. And then last but not least is our sort of very new, uh, very exciting finish called Burnt Steel. Um, and Burnt Steel is sort of particularly fitting finish for um, this range because um, it's a finish that has, has also been inspired by motorbike exhaust. And for anyone that's driven a motorbike or has a motorbike, you know that if you have titanium exhaust or steel exhaust, over time the heat that that exhaust creates gives you this, this sort of amazing rainbow of blues and purples and yellows um, and you get this sort of very unique finish. Um, so we, we've sort of found a way to apply this to stainless steel uh, and oxidise it in a way that um, it can retain the colour so it's sort of tattooed into the skin rather than uh, applied to the steel. Uh, and the beauty of this is basically no two burnt steel products are the same. So it's very unique um, and as you can see from this one has sort of got a little bit more yellow in it. This one's got a tiny bit more purple in it. Um, but it's a really cool finish. And um, yeah, so basically four, four solid metal finishes for the detail kits. And then you have two finishes for the bodies, which are graphite and stone. Uh, anyway, so to take you through the four product types. Um, so basically I have an adjustable spot. Uh, and most people use these uh, around the edges of a space or a home, so to light artwork or to light console tables or to light um, uh, shelves like behind me. 
So they're normally used by designers for the edges of spaces. Um, and then we have, uh, next is, actually I've got one here, next is a, um, uh, our surface light, which is basically replaces uh, a recessed down light. So it's surface mounted to the ceiling. Um, here we're using it with the, the gun metal. Um, but these are really great because they don't glare at all, whereas everyone knows that recessed down lights are very glary. Um, also, you'll probably use these throughout the body of a space. So wherever you'd put a recessed spotlight or down light, you would have one of these. So they light floor uh, space rather than objects. So this is sort of for artwork or tables or things around the side of your room. And then this is probably for uh, the centre of your room. Uh, and then we have track light. Um, and I'll put a, a burnt steel one in here. Uh, so track lights, um, we use a track light fitting which can fit a whole range of track lights from Global to Nordic to EU Pro. Um, you'll have to look at the tech specs just to get a full list of the sort of compatible track lights. Um, but these are really great, you know, they, they've sort of traditionally up until now been uh, used mainly by A&D and things like bars and restaurants and hotels because they're very flexible. But I think more and more people are starting to use them in the home, especially in places like the kitchen. So normally in a kitchen, it's really hard to decide where you want light until your kitchen's actually in place and then you realise you wanted light somewhere else. So track lighting is great. You can put a big track in your, your kitchen and you can buy as many as you want uh, and you can move them around and you can always uh, make sure you get perfect lighting for yourself. So actually people are using a lot more of these in, in, the, in home, in residential. Uh, and then the last product is, and let me see if I'll fit, a, I'll fit a steel baffle to this one. The last product in the range uh, is a pendant, um, which, wait a second, oh, we're in. So the last product in the range is a pendant and basically operates exactly like any other pendant. However, this is a, a spotlight pendant, so you'd probably use it uh, above tables, above breakfast bars, uh, reception desks, in retail spaces, um, and basically to light surfaces. So that's the last product in the range. So you've got four products, uh, adjustable spotlight, fixed down light, uh, track light and pendant light, um, and hopefully you know that, that that's the four products you would ever need in terms of sort of functional back um, lighting. Um, so I think a little word about uh, what powers these lights. Um, so we each light fitting has got a GU10 bulb fitting in it. Um, the GU10 is um, a basically replaceable bulb. Yeah, it's very common, you can buy it everywhere. Um, we will be selling our own GU10s, which have a really sort of nice spec on the website. Um, the great thing about sort of having a mains powered GU10 bulb is that you can be very flexible about the spec of your bulb. So these bulbs basically have, they can be warm white all the way through to cool white. Um, they can have different brightness in terms of lumens and then they also have sort of different beam angles. So if you're trying to light um, a piece of art, you might want a very narrow beam angle, something like a 12 degree. Uh, and if you want to light uh, floor space, you probably want a flood beam angle, so 36 degrees or above. Um, I think our, our bulbs are 36 degrees. They're sort of a sort of general average and pro pretty good everywhere. They're fully dimmable, everything here is fully dimmable. Um, and so they're all powered by GU10. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to tell you guys. Uh, I'm not sure there is. I think uh, you know, it's been really cool to speak to you guys about the range. Um, all the information is on the website. Uh, everything you would ever need from tech specs to images, um, the stuff, is available to buy now. Uh, we've got a very small limited drop um, for this first drop, so uh, if you like the stuff, um, now's probably a good time to try and buy it. I hope you've enjoyed this. I think we're gonna try and do more of these uh, Instagram uh, live things to try and sort of stay connected with all you guys. Um, we might do a Q&A or maybe look around my house next week or the week after, so sort of tune in to um, Tune into our, our Instagram account at Buster and Punch, and uh, we'll put some more information on there. Thank you. It's been lovely having you guys here. Please stay safe. Uh, I know these are tough times, and hopefully, stay connected, stay creative, and hopefully, we'll be better time soon. Cheers.